Shoo! What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video. For you guys at home are having a fantastic day. But before we jump into today's video, guys, a huge shout out to Anchor for sponsoring today's video. Anchor is recognized as the world's number one mobile charging brand. They make the most long lasting portable power stations on the market. Their unique batteries can be used 3000 times and still have 80% of the capacity, which is six times longer than other portable power station brands. This right here, ladies and gentlemen, is the Anchor 521 and it can be recharged up to 80% in just 1.4 hours. This is the Anchor 535, which can be recharged up to 80% in just 2.4 hours. Both of these products are available right now and they both have built-in USB-C ports which allows you to charge your device and recharge the portable power stations. The 521 has 256 watt hours and the 535 has 512 watt hours. They're both extremely durable, long lasting and both have power save mode. I like taking these anchor power stations out to the job site when we're working, we're building stuff, constantly our drills are dying, we don't have any power power out there. So you take these two bad boys right here. You can keep your equipment charged, keep your tools charged and get back after the job and get the job done. The Anchor 521 and 535 are both great for camping, outdoor activities where you don't have power, but you need to recharge all your devices. Also with everything that's going on in the world, how crazy it is, you never know when a blackout's going to occur and you've got these bad boys to recharge your devices so you don't lose connection with the outside world. Another thing I love about these is this one right here. This is the Anchor 521 it actually has an extra USB C port and the Anchor 531 actually has this built in light bar. Check this bad boy out. So, if you want to ensure you've got power during the next blackout or you just need a little extra juice to keep your devices alive on the next camping trip, go ahead and click the link down in the description down below and check out Anchor for yourself. Huge shout out to Anchor for sponsoring today's videos. Brands like them that I partner up with that allow me to do what I do every single day, which is make videos for you guys at home to enjoy. So, with that being said, enjoy the rest of today's video. <laughs> What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video. Look at this, it's beautiful out here, Banjo. What are you thinking? You can see the cabin and everything. You can see the um, cabin. Wow, you actually can't see the cabin from here. Oh, we are, uh, we're at the never, top of the hill. We haven't been up here in forever. We, yeah, we I hardly think the last thing here. I was up here is when I hit, I think it was one of those trees. No, it was that little one over there. Yeah, you, oh, you smoked one. that, that tree. One, yeah, right, Banjo, he hit that. But oh yeah, you can see, the, look at the pond. I'm telling you, if the people who built my house were smarter, they'd put the house up here. Yeah. If I wasn't moving, I'd build a house up here. It looks way, way cooler. But we are up here, ladies and gentlemen, to build a giant, I don't really know if giant is the right word, but we're building a race track, dirt bike track, and jumping. Basically, we're, we're entering the X Games banjo. How you feeling about it? Yeah. We got I'm a excited. dirt bike on the way. I'm not a huge dirt bike guy. Actually, last time I rode a dirt bike, I hit a jump and landed on my feet. We are, uh, we got one on the way. You'll see it in a future video. Um, but we're like, well, we got a dirt bike coming. We got to build a dirt bike track. So we've got the side-by-side, -side, the ATV, and the bush hog, and we are going to kind of scope it out and mow it, and then we're going to come back in with the bucket and try to make some jumps and bumps. I mean, but right now, Banjo, this is the extent of our, yeah. really, honestly, if you think about it for the, what we had, we had a, a tractor that was not supposed to move dirt. Really, I yeah. feel like it turned out decent. I feel like what do you think? I like it. Like, if for the go-kart, if you don't want to hit it on one of our go-karts, you could just go right next to it. You could just go around it. Like, it's not a bad jump. We what do, what do you think? We got Remington here. You're a uh, motocross X Games specialist, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Uh, we brought in the special forces here to design a, uh, a, a racetrack here. Oh, what's going on here? This is your mud pit. Building another pond or that's, You just got to just give it a full send jump. Wow. Yeah, that's, how, how deep you think? That's the water there? hazard. It's like in golf with, oh. for the motocross. We'll leave it. Lucy, no, 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 my. Oh, man, now. she's gonna kill me. Anyways, what do you think of this? So we built this jump with a tractor a couple years ago. Yep, that'd be probably about the size you're gonna wanna go. Oh, okay, so we did oh, decent, okay. you're telling us. Oh yeah, great job. Okay, all right, so this one is, uh, it's it's really not that bad. It turned out better. Yeah, I think it like, it's sloped out pretty decent. Here. So like there's no like landing, like you just boot it straight to the Oh left. God, yeah. yeah, no, you bottom out pretty. When you, when you slam, <laughs> your head just goes just boom. So we need to figure out exactly what we wanna do. You know, ideally probably stay in the inside. So, you know, you've got that burn. I kind of thought you could mow that berm and run the side of it. Like that could be your side banjo instead of us building. Okay. Like, oh, like, yeah. Um, oh, like, just don't go on the other side. Yeah. You're I was bad. looking at that one. That one What's going on over here? You, yeah, that one's a straight cliff. Yeah, you probably don't, don't like want to that do that. Over so, here. and then we, I mean, we got a lot of room down here too. So we just got to figure out, we're, we're not doing like the whole thing's going to be jumps, but essentially make a racetrack. Cause we have so many vehicles, right? We've got, we got mini Jeeps, we've got go-karts, we've got dirt bike coming, we've got ATVs. So we want a track that we can potentially race on either time 
time trials or 1v1s, but then incorporate some jumps and bumps and ramps and all that good stuff like that. Yeah, so there's another one there. Another, looking at like all these terraces. So it's gonna be like kind of longer than wider, right? More like Martinsville. I mean, the thing is you could go all the way down there if you want to. I mean, you could go down, flip, and then you could you could go down here, yeah. and then you could, I mean, you can make it as big as you want. We might need to fly the drone, yeah. and then we could see maybe an aerial of it. Overall, I think kind of staying within this berm, pretty much, yeah, I follow that whole berm right here. Yeah. So I would say on the inside of this berm, you can go as far as you want over there. See all these little shrub or trees and stuff, we might cut, either cut lanes them or just wipe them out entirely. And then we need to figure out what we're gonna do with it. What are you thinking? Where would you put a fat jump? I mean, are we doing one of those where I mean, you, it, you get so high you do like a think it's big trick guy? Or you let go of the handlebars well, he's doing and then grab over. it back? Can I we do that? I think Remington's got What's, What are you thinking here? If you put a jump like, like right here. Okay. So whenever you land, you're like land going downhill. That's I like that. Then you don't just bottom out. Sorry about round well, kind of like Does make sense. Straight into that berm right there. And then so you could you could hit a jump and then just bend and then bend it right there. The berm. Yeah. Make a 180 and then come back and then the corner of that terrace right there. Yeah. You can make a jump coming back up. Okay. And then I'd say you could three jumps good. is probably pretty good. Yeah, that might not be bad. I guess it depends how far. And I mean, if how we far we want to go that are way. Good and you can do like some of those little bumps. Yeah, I want them rumble bars. What do you think about those? Yeah, you can do it. Little time, yeah, but they won't, they won't even get they're gonna be rumbly, yeah, they ain't gonna be smooth, no, but that'd be fun. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like it'd be good. Do what, like coming up the hill on the gravel, yeah, oh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> throwing shade at the guy who he, he uh, oh, yeah. the guy who maintains my gravel road out here loves the rumble strips in the middle of the road, and there's no way to get around it. That's uh, yeah, no, it's a good time. So, okay, so we've got one jump here that we could either leave or fix. I feel like we kind of need a land, it's a hard, that's a hard landing. How do you make a land and not hurt? More of a tabletop, oh, okay, so if we just built it. Out so you you go and you clear the tabletop and then you land on the back side yeah. of it. Yeah, or if you land on top. Oh, okay. So we could just what if we just make it wide? You just widen it out then, if like a little, like a little, like a trapezoid. Is that what those are yeah, called? Like here with like a flat. Yeah. yeah. So then yeah. like you don't have to come down as far. Because that's here's the yeah. problem. You, you got a dirt down. bike in which you maybe could get a little air, and then you got like a mini jeep. So you got it. We got to get like universal yeah. hills essentially, where you just yep. pop up top. Okay. Yep. So tabletops, what we're after. so rumble strips, tabletops, and then I like the idea of mowing on the side of the berms as like the like yeah. big turns. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess let's fly the drone. Let's get on the four wheeler. And start mapping it out. You guys stay tuned. Right what happened here? Oh, he's somewhat fresh to be honest. Pretty fluffy too. That's right in the backyard. Ripped a buddy. Well, just found a coyote. I don't know how we didn't see that before. How the dogs didn't? Me. Millie, bad dog. You're supposed to be on top of your shit. All right, so we, after some careful calculation, we're gonna put three jumps. <coughs> wow, I said puberty. It's great. You got uh, three it. jumps. So starting points there. Banjo, go ahead. Banjo starts. We're gonna hit hit this. We gotta turn this into a big tabletop. So. Banjo's gonna hit that jump. Oh God, he's gonna hit somebody. All right, so Banjo hits the jump. And then keep going a little bit. And then flip a turn. Yeah, and then you keep going. And then there'll be another jump, boom. He'll hit another jump there. And he's gonna keep going. He's gonna keep going. Yep, yep, and then keep going that way. Yep, keep going. And then turn in, yep. And then maybe some rumble strips and then boom, another jump, you're good. He keep going. Oh, there's some trees over there. He's hitting them. And then he's gonna flip around and then he's gonna hit this at the last for the last turn. We might have to make them turns a little wider. Yeah, what those That's why I was having him bit, yeah. run it. I say we run with that good? You yeah, I mean I think so. I think all this oh did it feel a little tight? Yeah. So we need they, maybe we just need to widen her out a little bit. A little wider. I just don't want to run into yeah. the trees. Alright, well, let's get to mowing. Yeah, I'm gonna you rip. like it? I'm gonna rip. How does it look? It looks pretty good. You can see your line pretty well. Is it not bad? Yeah. Let's see how it is. See if you think oh, yeah. you know, the turns my are too. I was gonna say, yeah, go way up and let's see what it all looks like. Not too shabby. Dang, I kind of like Should have drawn a penis. <laughs> 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 really? Yeah, I should have. Shoo! 
are. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We got it all mowed up. We are taking the skid loader back. Jake has run the skid loader back right now. We are going to grab the tooth bucket. I think we're just going to, I wouldn't say we're doing it the hard way. I think this is actually going to be the easier way, but I think we need to just be smart, use the tools that we have. We have a dump trailer, and I think we're going to back the dump trailer down the hill where I've borrowed dirt before for different projects. Load up the dump trailer full of dirt. Try to climb that hill. That'll be fun. That'll put that'll put Bob yeah. Beefcake struck to the test. Um, and try to back up the trailer, and that way you can just dump the trailer here full of dirt. By the time you do one bucket, one bucket, one bucket, one bucket, it's going to take a long stinking time. And we want to make some real big jumps here. So I think we're going to go back. We're going to put the tooth bucket. Mill quiet we're gonna put the tooth bucket on the skid loader we're gonna jump put the jump with probably okay put the dump trailer on we're gonna back the dump trailer down there fill it full of dirt bring it up here dump it smooth it all out go do i would say at least two we might be looking at three loads of dirt from the dump trailer so we're thinking rumble strips over that one called rumble strips maybe just like little mini or jumps over there the little ones big old tabletop jump and then two medium size jumps yeah. on that track we didn't make it super symmetrical but we had to kind of follow the contour of these little hills i think it's good because when we're filming you can stand right here and you can see everybody it's not like a huge track we just wanted something that we can race do our 1v1 challenges that's a little better than running up and down my gravel road because i wouldn't feel i wouldn't feel like i'm scared here you no. know because on the gravel you're scared time trials true and you can do 1v1 ones like have true two and see who time. get the most air and you can do multiple laps because you can just take a turn here and just yeah you could you could keep you do like a circuit like mario kart we need yeah. real life mario kart that's what yeah. this basically is so um anyways we are gonna go head back and load up the dump trailer full of dirt you guys stay tuned well pop beefcake truck it's out of commission so see what see what my truck can do should be all right Hopefully. think that worked oh god oh my god <laughs> Well, we made it. We're gonna wanna shape this thing up before I go to sell this joint, so. I think we could probably knock this ridge out. Flatten it. I could probably knock it and come around here, dump it. Okay, all right. Scrape. Right, see how this goes. Nick, the old F-250 got it or what? That's more dirt than I thought you were gonna do. I didn't wanna go like too crazy. What is good is this stuff's pretty sticky, so it'll pack your oh, jumps pretty pack good. good. Yeah, we you got, won't we, need as much. No, we found good, good dirt actually, so. What do you think? You think she's got it? Yeah, you're gonna get a little run up battery. <laughs> And you, you want to take the skid with you yep, so we can I'll drive it. So we can do it, just see how much more we need. Because maybe we don't need much. Yeah. This is a lot of dirt. Good luck. No, I can't be heavier than that rock we did the other no day. No way. For the last dust two years ago. We also didn't have to go up this hill though. Alright, let's see how this goes. Oh, you got it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. We're rolling down the steepest hill. Feel like you got much control? No, my foot's to the bottom right now with the brakes. There's no, that's all we got right here. Oh, so hopefully the brakes don't give out. Uh, holy. It's just, we did just you feel that? <laughs> we just drifted the whole, the trailer just pushed my truck all the way down that hill. We're gonna have to give her hell on both these little hills right here. Yeah, the straighter you can get this one the best. Come on, Sheila. Come on, Sheila. One down, baby. Here we go. We're going 20. <laughs> you made it. Let's go, baby. I want to know how much that's all that dirt weighs. It's got to be quite a bit. Cause it's like moist. It's mm -hmm. not fluffy, like light fluffy. I know it's not as much as that rock that day though. Cause that rock, no my way. truck was, my truck didn't even move. I can't believe that sucker worked. Dude, we are going 20, we are going 25 on that hill. Up that last hill. Yeah. It we looked like you, you're at the top, you were barely moving. Oh, I barely made it. Yeah. So I think just to fill this hole up, that's a good start. And then yeah. just take the rest you and kind of spread it. Start kind of burning over, yeah. Right. Start scooping. Start scooping. Where's the shovel? Dude, could you imagine how long it would have taken to scoop each bucket and bring it up? No. I didn't make sure it was charged. Could you imagine? There, there we go. Here she comes. I'm trying to pull out. Yeah, yeah it, it wants away. to fall, so you, you should be good. Like... You're good. You're good. You're good. It only took us two years to just dump, use the dump trailer for what it's good for. That's great. Dude, that's going to make it so easy. Basically, take I'll just take this end and, and throw it over here and then there. start berming from this. Shape it. Yeah, that's going to make it real easy. So 
talking about? About right. We need another load, probably. It's a little wider. Another load dump like right here. Can you make the tabletop bigger? Yeah, it is a whole thing. The whole the base. The shelf probably about to I here, and then this downslope on the other side, just like that. Yeah. Yeah. One more. One more load. Mm -hmm. So I'd back put it here. You think? Yeah. So just make the tabletop longer. Yep. So you're going what's the what's the slope here too steep too, too? I think that's about that's, right. That's good. Okay, so just low go over and then make it just that same steepness yeah. mm -hmm. and, so ma and maybe and try to maybe widen it yeah, out. We'll go to bit. like here at least bit. definitely need another yeah. another trailer load So overall looking good banjo. I see oh, we don't have the four-wheeler. Oh, yeah, Wait. we do. Yeah, oh. we do. Oh banjo you better hit that. Let's see it. Really? How yeah, fast do you want me to hit it? 20. Full speed. No, I think the slope of the whole thing needs to be about like this on both sides and it just needs to be yeah. wider. So you just kind of leave and land. If he could hit this and then land on this backside, yeah. then he wouldn't slam as hard. Woo! I feel like that was good landing too. All right, I gotta try that. Hang on. That's that was pretty good. Yeah. That was pretty good. Dude, that's like legit. Yeah, you better. That scared me. Yeah, you need to put I need a helmet. I'm a dad, you know. Dude, that's that felt good though. Like we, when you yeah. land, you didn't smack like we were before. Yeah. Dude, I didn't think it was gonna feel like that. I was like, oh, I'm not even going that fast. And then I got, and I was like, I'm in the air. Boom. Wow. I think we, so. Our first, you know, test run was decent. I think we just needed to make it wider and longer. But I think the height's good. I think all that's good. Don't want to go too longer. You clip it with your back wheels on. Yeah, the you don't want to hit your back and slam forward. Yeah, yeah, but true. You, yeah, you landed flat yeah. about right here. So okay. if this is like kind of where that down slope is, yeah. then you'll I just kind of hit right on that. ATV. That's gonna be the most the mini, fun. The mini we oh, got to The bikes might be a little sketchy yeah. just because we're not used to them. The but mini we mini can send. Oh yeah, you so can hit fun. it wide open on yeah. the mini. All right, well, let's go get another load of dirt. I'm gonna try to just get the trailer already headed that way. Yeah. Yeah. That didn't sound good. Is that my bumper? That's the whole side. No, it didn't touch it. Oh, it's not touching the truck? Oh, oh shit. shit. How's, How's that not the bumper? That's it's... definitely the old crunch bumper for sure. Uh, I'll pull straight. Yeah. Hey, Lee, that's better than going off the cliff. Oh, oh it's a back quarter panel too. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, I was gonna man. get a new truck anyway. Really? Oh wow, yeah. that really did get it good. See, I told you the trailer would go straight. I know. I thought I should. I should have back with. I should. I could have gunned it, but I was just worried of the whole thing. Then fishtail and pulling my bat. Yeah, we uh, we overloaded this one. Yeah, for sure. Man, that was a nice bumper. This is an expensive dirt bike track. Yeah. The world's most expensive. That's a good title. Put oh that, yeah. Put that in there. Yeah. Gone wrong. Yeah, but it bent that too. If only it's just a bumper. Yeah. Then you can just throw the bumper off and get a metal one like your front one. At least it wasn't Mike's truck. Yeah, I mean, it's not like I own oh. it, but still. That would be my car. Yeah, a It's a new farm truck right here. Yeah? We should yeah. go get a new one. Yeah. Get a new one? Yeah, we might just have to get a new one after that. Yeah, I know I could tell we overloaded that sucker pretty good. It didn't seem like that much should more than the last one. Down the hill. We could have. Should have it just it pulled right it. down here. And then yeah, it's just the whole time. It's, the problem it's is it's, it's still like sl it's just slime. Yeah, look at your yeah. tires. Yeah, I mean, look yeah, at they, this. they just slid. Oh my! Whoa! Holy! Yeah, that was slid. it pushing my truck. That's your tires. Oh my god! Red. Dude, my truck looks like shit. Look at that. Red. I thought it was your whole side of your truck. I wonder if your frames. Okay. Oh my god! Please don't tell me that's wrong. Mm. Uh oh! Don't say that. It's okay. Oh, thank God. Wait, minor. We can fix it. We can fix it? Yeah, Beefcake Automotive. Let's go, buddy. Oh. Open up the shop. Son of a gut. Dude, it pushed my tire. I thought for sure it was going to go, whip, and just take me, and I was just going to bail out. I was I was unbulk. I was ready to bail. God dang it. I didn't think it was that much heavier than the other. Oh, my God. We are idiots. Why didn't we plug in the trailer brakes? We're idiots. No, they're on. No. It's not plugged in. Not plugged oh, in. no, never mind. Yeah, no, no never wonder mind. the trailer just yeeded. Uh, the trailer would have stopped if you we put in. these on. But not this. That was your job. Why didn't we? Oh my, I'm an idiot. Dude, I was just thinking, wait, why doesn't the trailer have brakes? Why the trailer keep going? I'm a moron. I want to see Papa Beefcake's reaction. I don't know if that would have changed much. It would have just slid just like The tires probably would have still slid. It would have just locked slid. up and still pushed yeah. it. The back All right, we'll plug those in now. Oh. <laughs> uh, that's a little late. Can we get Papa Beefcake's reaction? Okay, yeah, let's call him. Yeah, what's up? Hey, you want to come down the hill real quick? The trailer's acting up. Yep, got it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he goes my truck, right? Like yeah. he didn't pay for it. He's gonna be yeah, disappointed. Watch, just be like, yeah, that sucks. The thing it's is, like he me. put it that in his truck that I bought and didn't even tell me about it. I said, he didn't tell you about that. No. I was with him. 
What that? You didn't tell me. <laughs> I either. thought he was gonna. What happened? I said, dude, there's a huge dent in his truck, and I was like, when did you do that? He's like, oh, I did that a few weeks ago. I said, you didn't tell me. He jackknifed a trailer just like this. Hit his back corner. Not that. Were you rolling in the grass? Why you look like that? I don't know. Oh, we were cutting barbed wire under. Yeah, oh. you ran over barbed wire. Yeah, did you see me go? That's the least of our worries at this yeah. point. I just need a, I need a new truck. Son of a gun. It's a good excuse to sell it. That's <laughs> the worst I've, damage I've done to a vehicle. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever been in like a wreck? Or is nah. this like your first like nah. wreck? No. Nah. I mean, I had some, oh, oh, here some, here comes somebody hit my side. first time. Oh, God, here we go. <laughs> Do you know uh, a guy that does good auto body work? Auto body. Which he's speaking. Yeah, oh. the trailer was driving my truck was the problem. God. You know a guy or no? Very little frame damage. If Very little. I feel I feel good kit. about my truck damage. That's what I said. I said he. I said I don't feel bad. I didn't bad know you didn't you know tell him about that. Yeah, he didn't said. Tell me. He's like, oh, what happened here? I go, oh, I jackknifed a trailer. He yeah. goes, nice. Listen, <laughs> you were carrying ten thousand pounds of dirt down a mud slide. Yeah, we made it. Look we on made the other it on side where his tire. That's his truck that, tire. That slid my truck tire. So what we were worried about was the trailer whipping and going over the hill and taking my truck with it. So I slammed on the brakes and the whole thing crunched. I didn't plug in. <laughs> you want I didn't to admit plug that? in the, the brakes. I didn't plug it in. Which I didn't, probably I wouldn't have helped. I don't know if it would have helped because it slid so much. It would have helped. It would have hurt. It would have slowed it down. <laughs> Couldn't hurt. Yeah. So yeah. anyways. Wouldn't have been worse. We gotta go drop it off now. I mean, good thing we didn't put the black truck on, the one you drive. Yeah. yeah. Good call, right? <laughs> messed up my truck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I need a new truck anyway, so we'll just leave it. Leave the damage. Farm, Farm truck, truck, go get a new one. Hmm. Yeah. Already spending enough money, yeah. might as well spend more. All right. Man. I can't believe you didn't I didn't know you didn't tell him about your, the day you put yours. He was just telling like, him. Yeah. <laughs> like, why is a brand new truck? Why is there that when we did it? I'm sure there were some debts along the way with cars that he drove when he was young and he didn't say anything. Yeah, okay. Back now, my truck also wasn't 60 grand though. Back when I was 16, there's a difference. Okay, I have no idea. Uh, good thing is the tail light's fine. Tail light's <laughs> yeah. The tail light probably costs more than half. I was gonna say that that tail light's your most expensive yeah. part. Hey, your ramp looks real good, by Does the way. It? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah check it's it there. Sweet. That's yeah. all that matters. Yeah, first yeah, load. Totally the most expensive dirt bike track at this point because now I gotta fix this. That's so. very true. All right, yeah, I'm gonna take a guess and say this is our last load of dirt for the day. Um, I think we might have to make it our last load. Yeah, <laughs> I don't really want to do this again. You might just make one extra jump. I think if you plug the the trailer breaks it next time. It would help. And don't I load it as I, I loaded well. this one down. Wow. It's it's a lot. I was trying to, I was getting greedy with it. Because the first one, we went down it and it pulled, I didn't realize it would pull like it did. So I gunned it. So we just pulled our, it just pulled it and like fishtailed our truck right here and then we kept going. But I knew there was too much weight in this one, so I tried going slow. Because that's what happened. As soon as we started going down, yeah. you should have seen it. The, the trailer was just drove. Oh, it just it, it just was pulling my truck with Did it. Did you have it in low gear or anything? Or yeah, it's, it's all in four and everything's low, locked low. down. Yeah. I mean, we were crawling when it had crawling. Yeah, you were going like two mile an hour. Not, right? Oh, not like even. He was, I mean, I was in, I was inching all of a sudden. When it, it happened, took my you truck. weren't even moving. No, it just went. The truck wasn't moving in the I slammed on the brakes and my trailer just kept, the trailer just kept going. Yeah, the front end wasn't moving. Well, he knew it was so bad that I. I unbuckled, so if it did start taking my truck, I was gonna bail out the door. Bail out. Like ice wow. fishing, go through the ice. Abort, abort, abort mission. Yeah, basically. That would've made a better Jack title for sure. But. All right, let's deal. go get this sucker dumped. Uh, she don't like it. Yeah, we definitely went a little, oh, too much on this. There we go. Shoo, we got some dirt unloaded. We left some in there. Yeah, I think we had her uh, overdone, did filled in there, but hey, you live and you learn. Just a truck, I guess, it's whatever. So anyways, I'm gonna take the skiller, I'm gonna take this dirt, pile it on top and kind of smooth that out and uh, try to get this jumped. We're unfortunately not gonna be able to get as many jumps as we had wanted, because I don't really wanna do what I just did again. I don't really wanna take the uh, dump trailer filled with dirt. And I know we could take less and probably be fine. It's just like, it's not worth the danger. Plus we have the skiller up here. We probably can just scrape some of this grass out and really and like, we can go borrow dirt from somewhere else if we do need to add a little bit more. So for the most part, this corner will be the last amount of dirt that we pull from the trailer just to save my truck's life. So we're gonna take this, smooth it up, get this one major jump done, and then hopefully that should be enough and we can take the rest of this dirt over there and make another jump. And then we'll have to go over there and make rumble strips without the dirt. We'll dig that up. So anyway, stay tuned. All right, we got the first hump, the dumpty done. Good to go. This is still has some dirt. So we're gonna take this truck, we're gonna move it over there, we're gonna dump the whole thing. And we'll have to decide if we want one jump or we want two little jumps. I think two little jumps would be kind of funny, especially on like go-karts, feel like you'd get hurt, which would be good. Um, so anyways, let's dump that dirt. Look at the big chunk that's stuck. in there pretty good. Uh, it's, it's trying to go. Oh. There you go. You want to ride that down? Ooh, oh God. Oh. That went. Shoo! All right, 
right, well that little Humpty Dumpty is good to go. Man, this dirt was pretty darn wet right here. So I try to smooth it out. It doesn't look like much, let's see, what are you doing? It, it, won't, it look, probably looks like a teeny little bump. It's probably a two foot at least I mean, jump I'll give you a little from that side. I mean, it's up past your shins. Yeah. So, I mean, you can see the difference there. It's a decent jump. So, Jake, you good? Go for it. Well, we got this one done. Um, we're gonna hit this one. Jake, you hitting that one too or no? Should I start over there and hit both? Yeah, let's do the circuit. Yeah. Let's do the circuit. We got one more obstacle. We're gonna try to make some, probably just a bunch of those. Maybe not quite as big, but like two or three of them over there. And I'll just try to scrape some dirt and just make right. it fun. So you make get, you, you might get hurt. That's the idea here. We already broke my truck, so someone's gotta break a bone. All right, so Jake's gonna hit the circuit. He's gonna go, he's gonna do half the circuit, which is boom, boom, and then back around. And then we gotta do the third, the third side. Lucy. He's coming. You can hear him, he got some air. Decent, yeah, that's decent. Better than, I thought. better than I thought for us, a little of a jump is we didn't, we just don't have a ton of dirt to work with. And I know we could scrape it out, but by the time you scrape it, it's basically we need to go dig a hole somewhere if we want a bunch of dirt. And I just don't really want to do that, but that was good. good. Yeah, I know I liked it. I thought you did good. So, all right, we got one more thing to do. We'll just, we'll go to the other side and brainstorm what, we, what we're thinking. I might just pick a high side and just shave it down and throw that dirt on the low side and make a couple jumps. And then we're going to get the mini Jeeps. We're going to get the go-karts. We're going to get the mini four-wheelers and we are going to do some Mario Kart racing. So stay tuned. That dirt is frozen over there. Oh really? Oh yeah. She's rock hard. I think it's because them them trees. I was digging right on the the north side of the trees. <clears throat> wow. Why did I lose my voice? I think I just secured it again. Yes. Could we go get the tooth bucket and do more? But the problem is this stuff is so like it's super slimy because it's already frozen. Like this is mud it's just gonna make an absolute mess so we we canceled the jumps over here because it would end up just being that was perfect dry dirt we did great on the first rounds if only i wasn't an idiot with my trailer and truck we could probably make something better over here but for now i said play it safe the other thing i started thinking about this would be the only straight without a big jump now i already roughed it up a little bit but to gain some speed so if we're doing time trials races if someone's got a faster vehicle than another this would be their time to really catch up uh, maybe it doesn't turn as good like the go-karts fast but doesn't turn so if you've got the mini atv which is probably slower than in the go-kart the mini atv would do better on the course but the go-kart would do better on a drag race mm -hmm. so this would give that person an advantage whoever's better on an obstacle course would have a disadvantage to a vehicle that's a little faster over here so we ended up smoothing this out so this would be like the drag strip still like i said it's a little rough um we got two jumps one big one one little one the drag strip we got the whole you see in the whole track i think we're ready banjo you feeling it we just made a mud lane so when it rains so we uh, can have like a little too, muddy yeah, area it's too wet yeah it was <laughs> it's frozen and it's now it's like it's the frost lines that's all right i like i like having a straight so away. i saw saying is like the go-kart your go-kart's fast mm -hmm. so you'd have an advantage on the mini atv which is slower would do better on turn so this mm -hmm. would give you an advantage yeah. but everyone else would have an advantage on the other one so exactly. i think it balances it if everything was just jumps then basically whoever's got the pit bike yeah. or something like that yeah. is gonna win we don't want that we want something that we want to even the playing field so anyways we got everything done we're gonna take everything back hopefully not crash the truck on the way and we are gonna get a mini atv we're gonna get the jeep we're going to get the mini no mini jeep mini atv and the go-kart all three of these guys and do a race stay tuned all right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first annual Mario Kart Bash. Go Kart versus Mini HV versus Mini G. You guys stay tuned. Beefcake race. You good? Banjo couldn't make the turn. He just crashed. <laughs> He's in the tree. He got some good air. He got some good air did, coming off this. Did he? Oh yeah. This thing's pretty fun on it. I did not think I was you full throttle that whole time. Oh, that whole time. I about, I about spun it out right there. I about flipped. Did you get I some air? See. I don't know if I got air or not. Man, that thing. It like digs into your leg when like it bounces. You try it on that. That thing I, sucks. 
What happened to Jake? Did he, did he kill it? I think he stalled it up Yeah, he's, I heard it. I heard it. I was like, all right, I'm gone. I was like, I almost could have passed you, but I was like, I'll go behind you right away. You, you, yeah, you and you I were pretty close. You had a better jump than me yeah. that caught up to you. Yeah, yours, his is fast. If he could turn, you would have gotten it. he's stuck in seconds. No. <laughs> no way. Oh, there, this is second gear. Everything's fine. First gear. I think we've done broker. We already broke it once. <laughs> this thing's the most fun, I would say. I feel like you got to race Ty on something. You may take the go kart. I can try it. Sure, go for it. I just know there's just I got no steering on the go kart, but I'll I'll do it. <laughs> what are you going with, Ty? You got to go with this. this guy. Jake already broke the Jeep. Ready? Ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go! You wiener. I cheated, yeah. Why'd dude, you, you guys hit that jump at the same dude, exact we time. Dude, that was good. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I was trying not to turn and hit me. Because... It's just wide enough, barely. The problem is it says better top speed. You have better yeah, you were able acceleration, to catch so I couldn't, I never really had a good spot to catch you. I was drifting this corner. The problem, yeah, I couldn't turn very good. <laughs> this actually wasn't that bad. Yeah, I got her, I got her going. Got inside of him. On the inside? Yeah, I know. I stayed to the inside. I thought I thought I thought I had it figured out. That was we tough. We need another vehicle now for this. We need a better go-kart that has suspension yeah. for this track. Like a dune buggy of some sort. Maybe we need to buy another vehicle let us know what you guys what would we what would you race on here and also what would you add what what did we miss out on do we need to put rumble strips and i i, I thought it was good like i didn't feel like we were i didn't feel bored no, was, yeah, my heart no. was racing the whole yeah, time. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah. I enjoyed it. So I liked it. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Stay tuned. Hopefully, maybe. Oh, we need a dirt bike. That's what we need. Duh. Oh yeah, we have, we have oh, a dirt bike track. We have a dirt bike. Got. I've never owned a dirt bike before, so maybe we'll get one. You guys stay tuned. We'll catch you in the next episode. Peace.